Hola, welcome to episode 24 of Pool Plays in Portugal, although it's actually only the 23rd episode because, of course, episode 21 and 22 were pushed together, so I've confused things by doing that, really. Uh, but not to worry, the, the microphone's definitely on. I've double-checked, triple-checked, it's working. Today, we're taking on Napoli again in the Europa League. Of course, we do have to win this and hope that Hertha Berlin lose for us to go through to the next stage. But I'm starting to think maybe it's not a good idea to qualify for the next round because it has been detrimental to our league form. Although we're still top of the table, it's still been a wonderful season, despite the, the little bit of a drop off in recent results. Of course, we lost both games in the last episode, but we did manage to get a 0-0 draw in our first Tacita Liga group stage match against Sporting. We still have a very good record against them. And then in the, the league against Gilles Vicente, we managed to win 3-0 away from home. This was to be expected. Bottom of the table, we needed to get something here. We had to get the three points. And goals from Bruno to Bata, Nakajima and Rui Costa got us all three points in this match. So we are top of the table still. One point ahead of Porto, two points ahead of Sporting and four points ahead of Benfica. It's tight at the top. Nakajima's had a wonderful season, second top goal scorer in the league. Wellington, despite underperforming this year, is still the third best assists maker in the league with six assists. So he's not having the terrible season. Just in comparison to last year, it's been a little bit hit and miss. But he's still got a good average rating, 7.1. Best average rating, Nakajima leading the way. Ivanic is playing very well as well, 7.3, 6 assists, 4 goals. Rui Costa, 3 goals, 2 assists. We need Lopez back in form. He's managed to score two, uh, 3 goals sorry, this season and 4 assists, but that's in 12 games. His average rating has plummeted. And I'm actually going to change it up today against Napoli. We're going with Stanley up front as the target man. He scored that incredible goal against Napoli in the last match, which unfortunately you didn't get to really see live because I messed up the audio. But you saw it nonetheless, and it was what a volley. What a volley it was. So I'm hoping for more of the same today. We've got some tired legs out there. Vinicius and Bosignolo having to play every game, knackered at the back. I just don't trust uh, Alberto Rodriguez really to... To, to play well for it. Where even is he? Where's he gone? He's not left the club, has he? When when would he have left the club? Well, that was weird. I just had a crash dump when I searched for Alberto Rodriguez. There's definitely more crash dumps at the moment. Having to save the game regularly since the update, and I've seen people complaining about it on Twitter as well. Not really sure what's going on. Anyway, let's reload the game. Luckily, I did save it. Okay, I'm back on the game. I found him, and every time I click on him, I get a crash dump, which you can't see on the screen. Let me just switch. Look at that. Alberto Rodriguez is, is, is cursed. There's some sort of cancer inside him on the game. And it's making the game crash. It's really weird. So I can't click on him. Uh, that is that is bizarre. Back again. Anyway, I'm not, I'm not going to click on him again. Uh, oh, my. What is wrong? There are some, Is anyone else getting crash dumps? There, I've had a few. Fortunately, it's not had an impact. But I'm sure with lots of people, they're losing out on a lot of gameplay as a result of these. I would highly recommend saving the game regularly because there are some problems at the moment. Anyway, this is the team I'm going with then. Uh, Ivanic is on the bench today because he's quite tight. I just need to rotate the club. Rotate the club, rotate the players. I'm not, I'm not, I'm reluctant to put Pedro Sarr back in after his red card debacle. Uh, let, well... We just have to hope, don't we, today, that the FM gods are on our side. Although, if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. He closes a door, but opens a window. Perhaps closing the door to the Europa League will open the window of opportunity to go on and win the league. So, I'm not going to really focus on Hertha Berlin's result. We're just going to play the best we can today, give it our best shot, entertain the fans, score some goals... And if we lose, if we draw, even if we win, but we go out, that's just the way it's going to be. Yeah, let's get on with this then. Away from home in Italy in our bright orange kits against the sky blue of Napoli. And it's a highlight within a minute already, but Nakajima intercepts a hamstring pass. Now Stanley on the ball, the Jack Young of the series. Nakajima plays it into Llamas, through to, to Lopez. Lovely ball through to Wellington. Gets on the old Stanley. Oh, he's hit the bar. 
It was a chance for Stanley to get his fourth goal of the season. It didn't actually count as a clear-cut chance or half chance, strangely enough. Here's Wellington again. Stanley's dangerous in the middle, isn't he? He's just causing all sorts of problems. Llamas tackled and Napoli, now they're going to counter. Well, it was almost a carbon copy, wasn't it? Uh, that second opportunity for Stanley. Here's Hamshik. And they look dangerous, but Kakuba does well. And lobs, lobs over the top for Stanley. Look at him go, Stanley! Stanley! Oh, he hit it. The keeper saved it, and it ended up on the post. So unlucky for Stanley. But here we go, Nakajima, edge of the box. Here's Stanley again, finds Lamas, who hits it. Lopez blocked by a defender. Oh, we're all over Napoli once again, just like, just like the last match, really. We're having fun. We're causing problems to the Napoli defence. It's the hardest team in our group, but we seem to be playing our best football against them. But here come Napoli, looking for revenge. And here's Hamšík in a good position. Oh, what a save by Ferreira. He then decided to do a dive afterwards, which was strange. <laughs> Late reaction, but he'd already saved it by then. Now, can we counter from the corner? No, we can't. I'm enjoying this. It's still nil-nil, but I'm enjoying it. And that's what football managers should be all about. That's what football should be all about. Having fun. Entertaining the fans. At the end of the day, it's an entertainment business. We don't want boring nil-nil Sam Allardyce football. We want exciting football. Here's Mesquita. Oh, not the best pass, but it does find Stanley. Stanley finds Lopez. Oh, what a ball through to Wellington. Lopez is doing really well in that position, actually. Wellington scores. He's actually finished. And it's an assist from Franco Lopez playing in a more withdrawn role today. Dictating play. It's working. Maybe I need to do this from now on. Play Stanley as a target man. He's kind of like... I don't really know. He, he's the focal point, but also a distraction for the defenders. All the defenders were thinking, oh, Wellington's going to pass it to Stanley. But Wellington ran through and finished past the keeper. Great stuff. Marcel is going to be dead at the end of this game. He's already on 68%. It's not even half time. Ferreira smashes up the pitch. It's headed away. And Marcel he just doesn't have the legs to catch up. Does he? Vinicius intercepts, though. And Ferreira can smash it up again, but doesn't manage to find Wellington. And here they come, looking for an equaliser before half time. Mesquita. There's no one out wide. But it doesn't matter because Posignola wins it back. And now here's Stanley. Great ball to Wellington. Lopez. Lopez is through. Lopez. Good save by the keeper. We've had two clear-cut chances, two half chances. We're creating lots for, for the attacking players in my team today. This is similar to the Hertha Berlin game, though. Remember, Hertha Berlin were down and out at half-time. And then they two quick goals and they were they managed to go on and win it. I'm going to say I'm happy with the performance. I will go to standard. But we're going to keep everything else the same. We have been playing some wonderful stuff. But can our tired legs keep going? That is the question. We're back to our old selves. Last episode, we were terrible. We might still... I mean, they've got an equaliser. We might go on to lose this game. But I am really impressed with the attacking flair going forwards. That game against Vittorio de Setable was awful. We just were non-existent in that game. Today we're putting up a brilliant fight. They've only managed to equalise because of a, a set piece. Kakuba back to Lopez. Can we take retake the lead? Marcel's tackled and unfortunately, whoever this was, I don't know, Posignolo decided to run backwards into his defensive position when he probably could have intercepted that and we may have been able to attack from there. This is basically the Hertha Berlin game, isn't it? We dominated the first half, only scored one goal and now it's this exactly carbon copy. They do not deserve to be winning this. They really don't. Maybe going standard isn't the way to go because it hasn't worked today. Maybe I should have just kept attacking. And that's a real shame because we do not deserve to be losing 2-1. We really don't. We're going out of Europe. It's it's probably a blessing in disguise. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I think I, I feel a bit unjust here but that's the way football works. It's all about sticking the ball in the back of the net. They have created chances as well to be fair. Um, in their second half, so they do deserve to be back in this game. But I, yeah, if we'd taken one of those chan other chances, we would still be in there. Here's Stanley, though. Maybe we can equalise Stanley. That's a pathetic shot from Stanley. Going to take off Nakajima. It's certainly not been his day. And Rui Costa's going to come on the left. He's not match sharp. He's still coming back to fitness from since his injury. So I'm going to give him some game time. Half an hour to go. 
Hamshik. Good block. And Kikuba slams it up. Stanley can't get on the end of that. Franco Lopez tracking his man here. He's having to put some defensive duties in. And he's done really well there. Stanley with the pace over the top. And he's... Oh, good effort from Stanley. He's done well. He's, he's on a 6.0 <laughs> because he's missed a couple clear-cut chances. But... I, to be honest, I feel like he's had a decent game. And, oh, he's almost created an opportunity for Wellington there. Good save by the keeper. I think it was going wide. Llamas plays it back. That's not the best corner in the world from Llamas. I might have to bring Stanley off because we don't want his confidence to be completely ruined, do we? Although maybe I should keep him on for that reason. He, there still might be an opportunity for him to score. We've had four click cut chances and three half chances. Yeah, once again... <sighs> We've just un been unable to finish all our opportunities. Here's Stanley. Does well. Look at him. He's still going despite having a, a poor game according to the, the statistics. I think he's had a good game though. Here they come. Napoli. Great ball through. Is this going to be three? Oh, it's just wide. Lopez has play been playing well. But I will take him off because he is tired. I'm going to throw on Bruno Tabata. The super sub. Free kick. Like, there's still plenty of time in this game. It's been a, a great end-to-end -end spectacle for the fans. And what was, was I saying earlier? It's all about entertainment. We might lose this, but it's been entertaining. And I, I hope the fans have enjoyed their trip to Italy. This is... Oh, good save by Ferreira. Asip. Even it's, You can even enjoy a great save from a goalkeeper. It's not all about the goals. It's about the great saves, the great defending as well. Putting the body in the way. But as long as teams are going for it and attacking, then... You know, that's enjoyable, isn't it? Here's Insigne crossing it in. And that's a good defending by Possignolo. And it's another corner. Napoli this time. Marcel does well to knock that away. But it's back to Insigne. Crossed in. And that's three. I think it's all over now. I don't feel like we deserve to be losing 3-1. If Stanley had taken a couple chances, we would be level, of course. But unfortunately, it's just... It's not really been his day. But I think I need to keep the faith with it. Marcel is knackered. I'm going to throw on our 17-year-old Carubo. Not really a defensive midfielder, but he's the best player we can put on for Marcel. Let's just encourage them. They've they've put up a good fight in this Europa League. We've beaten Napoli. We've got a draw against Krasnodar uh, and a draw against Hertha Berlin. But unfortunately, it's not been enough to get us through. That was a really good save by Ferreira, by the way. Next year, we might be in the Champions League if we can grab a top two place. Hopefully our league form will pick up once we're out of this competition. Napoli really are dominating now, aren't they? I've got it on key highlights, haven't I? Yeah, I do. There's just a lot of key highlights today, evidently. We'll continue to attack. That's our style of play. I'm actually going to get them to be more expressive. Just express yourselves. Is this going to be four? Ew, really good defending there to stop it from being four. They have been all over us at times in the second half. They've certainly turned it up a few gears, haven't they, after a very poor first half. And that's almost four. Kakuba's had a terrible game. 5.7. Staly on a 5.9. But I'm not going to hold it against him. I th Do I play him in the next game anyway? Franco Lopez behind Stanley. Is that the duo we want? Here's Wellington. Maybe we can get a second. Hopefully... Oh, that <laughs> what was that Wellington? But as you can see, I'm still positive. Despite losing, I'm positive. I was expecting to go out in the group stage. I know I said perhaps we can grab second, but maybe that was a little bit optimistic. We do lose, but overall I'm relatively pleased. I'm going to say I'm pleased with the performance. That's uh, made Stanley extremely delighted. So these are the results of the group stages. Where are we? We do finish bottom of our group in the end. In fact, uh, it looks like Krasnodar drew. Yeah, they drew against Hertha Berlin. Even if we'd beaten them, I think it's head-to-head -head rather than goal difference. Um, so I don't think we'd have gone through anyway. I might be wrong. Maybe it is goal difference. It's time for the second match of the episode. Then we're taking on Mario Renzi, who, remember, denied us winning the league last year. So we want revenge against them. They're a mid-table team. We really should be beating. But I said that last year, didn't I? And we drew 2-2 after being 2-0 up. We have dropped to second temporarily, just below Sporting, because they've already played their 15th game. Uh, training wise what I did was I decided to have two rest days I'm hoping that's made the players a little bit fresher for today's match uh, let's look at Vinicius for example uh, no he's still tired despite an extra rest day but he's going to have to play <laughs> we need to get back to winning ways You've the last three matches you've seen me play in a live com we've lost in fact the last four because 
Benfica, remember, we lost that. Then you saw me take on Krasnodar and Vittorio de Setebal, and then Napoli today. You've seen four losses in a row, guys, but that's just that doesn't represent our season at all because we've won the majority of our games, haven't we? This is the team I'm going with then to take on Moira and see. We're, we're sticking Lopez back up front. Don't have full confidence in Stanley because last match he had chances. He didn't score them. Overall, I think he played quite well. Put himself about a bit. He kept trying despite missing chances. But Lopez is our best chance of getting a win. And we have to get a win here. You're going to lose confidence in me. I really am desperate. <laughs> They've got their own Vinicius up front. Brazilian striker. He's their top goal scorer this season. I've got to watch out for Zizo. He's their most creative player. He's an Egyptian international. So they've got some decent players. Trying to motivate them. I'm not really sure what the best thing to say is. So I'm not always the best at team talks. <laughs> I'll give it my best shot. Uh, right. Okay. Desperate. Desperate for a win. I think it's going to show today because I'm probably going to force the issue a little bit too much rather than just let my players get on with it and play. They've got the ability to win these games. We're, we're not, well, we're not top of the table right now, but we haven't been top of the table, table for no reason. We've obviously got a good team, but the European adventure has taken its toll and stunted us a bit, I think. Going forwards, we've just not been quite as creative. And nothing's happening so far. It's a boring game, but we have had every single shot in this match, apparently. Luciano, our left back, with the free kick into Lamas. Through to Ivanic. Back to Lamas, who finds Nakajima. This is patient build-up play from us. Ivanic, Lopez, Wellington. He couldn't really miss from there, could he? Good finish, though. Into the right-hand side of the goal. And we're 1-0 up. That is... Oh, the relief. Now we just need to keep going and score some more because remember we were 2-0 up against them at the end of last season and they pulled it back to 2-2. This is lovely play from us. Lopez with the assist. Lope, Wellington, the goalkeeper would come out and left a massive space behind him. Second highlight of the match and Luciano's given away a throw in pretty unnecessarily there. It's crossed in. Oh no, penalty. Nothing for them. And we've gifted them a penalty. And Vinicius steps up and scores. I'm not sure I've ever seen Ferreira make a penalty save. <laughs> it's 1-1. Demand more. Ivanic not having a good game. Nakajima not having a good game. Posignolo obviously not having a good game after giving away a penalty. It's 1-1 at half time. Those are the only two highlights. I'm going to assertively say I'm not happy. And as usual, I'm going to go for the be more expressive option. Change the width to, to balanced. Close down more, I think. Just need to get in their faces a bit more, I think. We need an early opportunity in the second half, but it looks like it might be Moriarty's opportunity. It's a long cross in, but Ferreira catches. I was a bit worried there. He was a bit worried when the ball goes high in towards the goalkeeper. Is he going to produce a clanger? Here they come again, though. Luciano closing down well, but they're still in possession. Fernando has that covered, though. He's played it into the path of the Llamas, who finds Nakajima. Hoping for a better second half performance from him. Here's Lopez. Lopez makes it 2-1. Lovely play. I wanted an early goal, and we get it. <sighs> Let's keep attacking, though. Let's go for a third, because they've not been in this game. I feel like if we get another goal, I'm hoping that would be too much for them. Free kick to Mario Renzi. It's knocked into the box. 2-2. This is so frustrating. It's suddenly become so much harder for us. And it's another... Well, the first goal was a penalty. This is from a set piece. I, what, why has Ferreira dived so early? And the strikers just stuck it over him. It wasn't even a striker. It was a bloody centre-back. Let's try not to get too frustrated. Let's stay calm. Iv Ivanic is not having a good game, though, is he? Not played as well lately. Bruno Tabat is going to come on. The super sub. And exploit the right flank through Wellington. We know he can produce wonders for us. So let's use him. I think I'm going to have to go overload. The 2-2 draw is just not good enough today. We needed a win. Another 2-2 draw against this damn team. Why? Two more subs to make. I'm going to take off. I don't know what to do. Don't know what to do. Stanley's coming on. Uh, I'm going to take off Nakajima. And then Tabata will go out wide. Lopez will drop back into attacking midfield. Stanley will move up as the target man. Bruno Tabatra is a winger, and we're, we're going for it. We're going over. We have to go overload, don't we? Take more risks. And the last substitute, I'm going to throw on Kukuba for Luciano. 
players attacking fullback. Get these guys forwards. Two attacking fullbacks, in fact. We can look for the overlap, in, in fact. Okay, five minutes to get a win. I just This is so frustrating. We, we were so comfortable after our two goals, and then we've thrown both of our leads away, and it's going to finish 2-2. There we go, 2-2. We dominated 15 shots to their fire. We never dominate possession. That's standard. But, oh, just, ah, <laughs> it's so annoying. A penalty and a free kick. We are top of the table as it stands, but Porto have a game in hand. They can go to the top for the first time this season. We have been top for most of this season. We did drop off here, but we had games in hand, so I don't think that really counts. <sighs> Why can't I win at the moment? What's the answer, guys? What am I doing wrong all of a sudden? I don't think I'm doing... I think it really is the European matches that have killed us. We have no spare centre-backs because Rodriguez is just banished as a player. He, he's created... He's a weird... He's diseased. He's a diseased player on the game. It's really weird. But I desperately need a third centre-back. Possibly someone that will come in and replace Posig. Maybe I need to replace the two centre-backs, Posignolo and Vinicius. Or I need to improve the tactics defensively. I've said it before, but we do seem to struggle... Anyway, the next few games, it's mainly about the League Cup, as you can see there. We're going to take on uh, Be Be uh, Benfica in the next episode. Oh, no, do I? It's going to be another loss. I'll take on Belenenses first, our last League ma League Cup match. And hopefully that will see us through to another semi-final. Uh, and then we'll take on Benfica. And I really want to get revenge and beat them for the first time in the league in this series but thank you for watching today's episode it's been another disappointing one to be honest but that's just the way it goes we're in a bit of a bad spell we need to get out of it i'm sure we will i'll see you in episode 25